Got it. Looks like the Alice Mercer lost track of us. Clear skies on the scope. Friar Angle commands it now. Using the taunt terrors. But in the way back, the Alice Mercer would roam from city to city, crushing any resistance. Now, if we ignite a revolt, you can be sure the Alice Mercer swoop in, put an end to it, break and say hell's bells. But we gonna start this revolution. We need to put an end to the Alice Mercer firstly. So then we mount a surprise attack. Conquer the Ausmercer and use it against the Nazis. Well, the Ausmercer is protected by an automated security system called Odin. Seen it when I was up there. Well, hijack the system, find the Odin codes, and disable the fucking thing. Yeah, but that kind of information is a top military secret. Only the Oberkommando is privy to it. Sounds like your basic Nazi military facility infill. I'll break into the Oberkommando and steal the information off their uh, computing machines. Not a problem. Except for the fact that the Uber Commando is now on fucking planet Venus. Venus? Ever since you obliterated the Uber Commando at Roswell with that nuclear bloody warhead, the Nazis have been trying to shove the shite back into the horse. So, they moved the Uber Commando to another fucking planet to keep it away from us. All of their top brass, all their top military secrets have been moved to a fully secured base on Venus. Venus. There is no way you are making it to Venus, sunshine. I don't care how mighty your arsenal or how much fucking manpower. There is not a hope in hell you can bypass all that security. Yeah? Not with that attitude. Except maybe there is. In two days, final auditions for the role of the infamous terrorist William Terror Billy Glaskowitz take place on the enigmatic Aristat habitat on Venus. One of the hopeful actors is Jules Redfield, here getting a snack from his favorite milkshake bar in his hometown of Needles, California. What you thinking, Anya? William and I are going for milkshakes.
His papers are all in his glove box. Yeah. What about him? Well, is he a Nazi? You a Nazi fella? <laughs> Can't even tell no more. How I look? Like a walrus. Don't forget your luggage. Remember, you are Jules Redfield, professional actor, traveling to Venus to audition for the part of William Joseph Blaskovich. Now, you are summoned by personal invitation, so security should be minimal. Break a leg. Mr. Redfield? Mr. You, Sir Redfield? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that, that's me. I'm Helena, the director of this film. Apologies for the long journey, but my producer favors a safe location and has an affinity for dramatic settings. Uh, come. Oh, uh, my, my luggage. Someone will bring it for you. Come. Welcome to the audition, Mr. Redfield. Now that you're all here, I ask you to prepare yourselves. You must be off book for this audition, so be sure to memorize your lines before the producer gets here. He has a volatile disposition, so be careful what you say and do in his presence. Mr. Redfield, I can't stress enough how important it is you learn these lines by heart. Your script is on the chair. I will be with you shortly. Can't blow my cover. Better keep a low profile. Leave the pretend acting for those so inclined. Your agent got you on the short list for this? Nah, man. Casting director saw me on a mystery show. Thought I had the right face. This is exciting, man. Venus and all? Yeah, I don't know. It's a little weird, though, no? Why Venus? What's wrong with L.A.? Producer gotta be a real big cheese. Yeah. Muhammad must go to the mountain type deal. Hmm. Any stage experience? What was your name? Roland, was it? Ronald. Ronald. Nah. I used to do uh, broadcasts uh, when I was younger. Nowadays, it's all pictures and TV. I thought about doing film acting, but I just love the theater. I'm not sure I even want this role. It's not like real acting unless you're on a stage in front of a live audience. You know what I mean. Sure thing, Chief. Unbelievable. 